Yes, hello. I was wondering if you could play that song again. Hmm, which one, man? The one that goes... And a poop 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 boom. Skia! Boom boom. Boom boom. Beauty to the. Alright, what's up, guys? This is your man Evil Adre here coming at you with another Infinite Warfare video. And in today's video, I'm showing y'all the Ryzen EMX and how I made this lobby pretty much just. I uh, made it man after coming in uh it was one of them few games where like you hop in late, everything's going great, you go ahead and you know you take over the game and oh my god, this dude got to step back and I ain't even talking 2K. But look, so um it's something I wanted to talk about. Two things. One, I want to talk about why why people like overreact sometimes. Cause a lot of times I get people who like send me messages after games and it gets kind of irritating. I know it's the Call of Duty community. I'm not crying like boohoo. You feel me? No, it's not like that. But it does get a little irritating here and there. So, of course, as you guys know, as my YouTube shows, I'm a pub stomper. I hop in public lobbies and I play regardless of like what type of people I'm playing against. I stay in most of the time. You feel me? I am not going to lie to you. I'm not a saint. I will back out here and there. But I hate people with a passion who like to send me messages after the game. Like, don't get me wrong. If I um, left the game... If I'm doing bad, I mean, yeah, I guess you can say you made me leave, even though in reality, sometimes my first game of the day has to be against some of the sweatiest people possible. But other times, I get kind of irritated. First game of the day I play, like, after not touching my game whatsoever until then, you know, I hop on, and what am I playing against? I'm playing against kids who haven't put their consoles to rest whatsoever. These people have just been playing the game nonstop. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, I can be like that some days, but, man, this game is not that serious to me. Like, Infinite Warfare, uh, a lot of people try to say that this game is garbage. And with this game's life cycle almost coming to a close, I think it's time we address the fact that those people are gonna eat their words. They all swore up and down that this was gonna be a bad game. They swore up and down that, you know, this was the worst Call of Duty to date, but let's be honest here. This Call of Duty, not only has it... Everybody say this is like Black Ops 3, right? So if you're going to say this is like Black Ops 3, this is a refined Black Ops 3. Everything that Black Ops 3 does bogus, this game does better. Black Ops 3, you feel like you have Brock Lesnar or like boulders on your back every time you double jump, right? In this game, regardless of what rig you're using, and I know the infamous skinny bot, aka Synaptic, is going to come up when you think about jumping in this game. And yeah, I know that's irritating to play against, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? They made the movement in this game so fluent that you don't have to actually sit up over here and run afterburner to actually be able to jump. I mean, is propulsion good? Yeah. Can it be irritating? I'm not going to deny it. I hate playing against synaptic sweats with propulsion. Another thing that I actually wanted to talk about. Um, oh, yeah, wait. Back to what I was talking about before. I'm, my mind's all over the place right now. But, yeah, I kind of get these messages, like, sometimes when I hop on after my first game of the day, and people like to tell me that I'm trash because I haven't played all day and I decided to dip out of lobby. Hey. Sorry if I don't live up to that expectation. I'm Master Prestige 30 with Black Sky Gear. And, I mean, what? I got every gun category diamond that I actually use. With all that being... But with all that other stuff, like, that's... I feel like it's not necessary to send messages. But we on to the second thing. Infinite Warfare's life cycle is almost coming to a close. And as I said before, I've enjoyed this game from beginning to end. There's a lot of games that I actually don't enjoy. But this game, even though it has its good days and it has its bad days... I've learned to love this game for what it is. And I'm not going to lie to you. Some days I look at it like, yeah, this isn't the greatest Call of Duty. Then in some days I'm like, man, this Call of Duty is so much better than Black Ops 3. And I know that might sting to a couple of people, but hey. I mean, I don't... I don't. Black Ops 3 is a shell of its form itself right now. That's why I don't post gameplay up. It is irritating. As we can see, you know what I'm saying? I brought this game back. This gameplay almost coming to a close. Um, I just want to say that, man... I've been I, I'm really enjoying like being a Call of Duty channel in general, but I'm kind of branching on to possibly maybe playing some other games and post some other games for the time being. A good friend of mine posted some um what was it Battlefront 2 debater gameplay earlier. I'm definitely gonna check it out. But yeah, that's the end of this gameplay. As you've seen, guys, you know what I'm saying. I, I not only came in and brought this game back, I came in and made one hell of a statement. Cause look at what I went at the end of the game. I'm not even gonna say it. You guys seen it. With all that being said, guys, I'm Evil Audrey, 
Smacking lobbies is my hobby. Please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that great stuff. We're almost at 200 subs. We're up to 200 subs. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Everybody, yeah, you can tell everybody. Go ahead and tell everybody. I'm the man.